This video will show you how to use the parts ordering feature in Closet Pro. This feature can be used in a number of ways. It can be set up to be uh, accessible only by the administrator, or it could be set up to be used by the end user or the dealer. And it also can be set up to be used for only reordering parts that have already been ordered or for ordering individual parts as a new order. So let's first look at reordering parts from sole design. So here as this, I'm logged in as a standard user. And you can see down here at the bottom of the page, I have a sole job called order design. If I go ahead and open up that, that design, that proposal, I can see that I have my design on here. It's an $8,000, $8,800 closet. I can view what that looks like. Look at the renders, options, accessory, tech drawings. And then here, this button is for reader parts. If it's activated on your account, is, is you're able to click on that. And before I do that, let's just look at what this design looks like. So basically, it's a one wall closet. It's got four units, double hang, seven shelf, drawer unit, mid hang. So now if I want to, let's say some of those parts were damaged, I can reorder the parts. By clicking reorder parts, it loads all the parts, which are in the bold, and then all the hardware that's associated with the part above it. And you can see as we go down, it's showing you what wall and what section. So these are all wall one, of course, because it's a single wall. So section one, here starts section two, section three, and finally section four. So it's showing you what part. So in this case, it's a vertical floor panel, what color it is, what the height was, the width, the depth, and how many there are. So if I want to reorder that left vertical panel with its edge banding, and let's also order the toe kick with its hardware, the bottom shelf, edge banding, and the hardware for the bottom shelf. Let's just do that for now. So I checked the boxes, but of course you can go through and check as many of these as you want. And then I save those parts. This comes back, shows me how much these parts are going to cost me as a user. It lists out all the things that I just selected from that design. It does allow you to change the quantity. If you do change a quantity to zero, let's say I decide not to not to take the hardware. I can just change these to zero. Uh, if I want more, let's say I want instead of four round cams, I want eight of them. I can change that to eight. And the rest of these I can either leave if I want to order more, more, more uh, fixed shelves at this size. I just change that quantity. And then you update the order. You can see it takes out anything you set to zero and it has updated my cams to eight and the price is adjusted accordingly. From here, I can save this order and it puts it into my design tool and it's listed right here. I can open it back up, I can see it. And if I wanna place that order for parts, I can just go ahead and then purchase that order. And we can see here from the cut list, I open that up, it's ordering, oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong cut list. It's down here. This is the view of the parts. And then the cut list will show here, showing you the left vertical panel, the edge banding, the toe kick, the bottom fix shelf, the edge banding. And then here you have your brown cams and eight of those and your price. In the next video, I'll show you how to order parts from a brand new order, not a reorder. Thank you.